Hello guys, welcome back to another video. <laughs> welcome back to part two of uh, this beautiful game. So we have a we have a couple of things here that we need to look at. So let's get started. Damn. From what height did I fall? My leg swelled up. I think it's broken. I can't walk and and a couple of my ribs are broken. I fell from a cliff while bypassing the area. There was a terrible storm in it. It seems I was blown off due to the wind. Can't remember well. A ladder is laying nearby. It obviously has fallen here the same way as I have. If I could put it upwards, I'd probably be able to get out of here, but it's frozen to the ground. I don't even have the strength to crawl to it. <sighs> it is extremely cold today. I can barely feel my limbs. Out of the despair, I've started looking for positive things. The pain has reduced, and because of the slow blood circulation, my leg isn't swelling up so fast. It's very hard to write, and my hands are shaking. The situation with my face is very bad. I can't even open my mouth. I've gathered all my strength and crawled into a corner. There is a patch of the thin ice in the wall. If only I could break it. Perhaps I would not feel so cold. I cried, and during this fit of hysteria, my lips got disjoint. I can feel blood on them. I had to eat the beef jerky that I was keeping for Cheryl. I used to visit him in the kennel, my loyal friend. I'm wasting my life in such a foolish way, and I left my mother and my sick father to his job on this damn station. I'm so sorry, my dears. I just wanted what was best for you. I love you. Benjamin. Alright, Benjamin. Seems like Benjamin didn't like, uh, didn't like it. The backpack is empty except for a couple of painkillers. Alright, so there was a patch of ice which was very thin, he said. It's frozen, I can't do anything with my bare hands. Oh yeah, because bare hands and... Yeah, yeah whatever. Doesn't make sense at all, man. Oh yeah, I fell as well, by the way. I fell. Really? Oh. It's getting deeper and deeper. At the moment, I've started to think that this facility is endless. I hope again fate and I found myself where I'd never been before. Whatever awaits me there remains to be seen. <coughs> Hello? Alright, so we are in a shower now. Oh, the FPS, man. What the fuck? Hello? Alright, I guess we'll turn it off for now. Just because you never know what's going on down here. So, as you can see, we have some uh, really muddy water. I wrote something in my journal. Notes. Benjamin's last words. Yep, we heard that. Uh, other findings? Nothing. And the last one? I need to lower the water level in the flooded part of the sewer. 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 What is this? A wire. Alright, so we got a wire. Nothing happens. Why is the FPS so bad down here? What the fuck is this main? Entry 1. The news of the epidemic, epidemic reached me at my workplace. Fortunately, all these horrible things are happening at the top, and it's unlikely to affect any of the technical facilities at the lower levels. Like this one. The collector is the only place where I can feel relatively safe. There is heat in here, as well as electricity and the required amount of drinking water. The residential sector can be reached through a network of sewer tunnels, but the infection most likely has already affected it. It leaves this refuge only for to replenish my supplies all this time. I have never seen a human being. I have to find something communicating device like a radio receiver. Entry 2. Finally got it. The radio is exactly what I needed to finally contact someone. I had to get into the infected area, but it was worth it. Also, I got a few components for it because it was faulty. I had to take a break and begin repairs. 
A couple of hours have passed and I don't know the reason, but my condition leaves me so much to be this lead me to be much the side of I feel extremely dizzy and it's hard to think. I had already been having small bouts of sickness, but I thought it was just fatigue. But when I took off my shirt, I found strange spots on my body. It looked like I've been fit infected too. He's been infected, man. Alright, a solding iron. When I press the radio, still doesn't work. Alright, then we got a new note. To do list. I need to lower. I wonder if I could repair the radio. Would I be able to get in touch with someone? Uh, let's check. Not quite right. Alright, so I guess we have to find some more stuff here. Holy shit, man. The FPS in here is fucking crazy. Mine is going. What the fuck was that? I really don't like this place. Just a friendly reminder. I don't like this place. And I don't want to go out that door to shit. I just want to explore it a little bit more. Yo, man, the FPS here is crazy. That's so what's in here. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. The one that is one door that I don't mind being locked. No, I understand that. Holy shit. Oh, capacitor. Let's save. Okay, no sorry. Oh, open. Yep. Yeah. More a cable. Alright. So I guess, uh. I guess we'll go back to the other room trying to fix up the, uh. Wait, what is this? And I like, uh. You never know, you know. All right, there we go. You fucking... Are you serious? When I pressed the ring, it was just a warning. Guess we have to find more things, man. Oh! Oh, I thought it was something you could eat. There we go. What? What? Did it work? <laughs> Hooray! I managed to do it. No, they will not find about it soon if they need it. Philip, hi. Brace your companion, who, despite all the hardship, does not break the thread of friendship. Just do not worry and do not drown in your own poop. You've helped me twice, and I will not deny you my help, my friend. You can think of me as your guardian angel, saving you from the clutches of demons and rippers of justice. Your gases are circulating like the juice inside, drunk of consciousness, and the shadows are putting, taking roots in its foundations. But I'm sorry. I cannot talk very long. I've only got three minutes to get out of here. Goodbye, pal. What? survived on the station. We'll try to fight for your lives. My name is Julia Kwan. I'm an operator, and I'll report you of our movements whenever I can. Stay in touch. I'm here. Oh, I can see you are gently tickling your ears. But wait. Don't you think that you've gotten yourself in a very stupid situation? You've got a virus inside you, which can make everything out of you. And you decided to go to your Fellow apes. You wanted to scare them away. And don't you afraid to be tied and thrown on the operating table and I'm starting to mess around with your brains till they understand that they were wasting their precious time on you? <laughs> They'll do it. And I take care of it if you suddenly forget that the Uncle Clarence prefers to liberate from the menageries with foolish, undisciplined smacotties. Oh. Oh no.
For the love of God, please not be a worm down here. Oh. Wait, can you not go through the, uh... Can you not go through this? Oh, it's jammed. No, you can't. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, that was fast. Alright, not going through that door just yet. That is locked. This is just open a little bit. Okay. More batteries. I don't use a lot of batteries as still, so, you know. Nothing. Oh, there's something here. This table could just move like a tiny bit. Yeah, I can still get it open because of this fucking... Did I move? Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Wait. There we go. Oh my god, man. Okay. Ouch. For fuck's sake, man. That hurt me a lot. Oh, it's getting a... Uh... Wait, close that, please. Okay. Seriously? Seriously? Oh, fucking! <laughs> I swear to God, it fucks me up. I don't hope it someone's out here. Holy shit man, this game fucking Yeah. I guess we're going down here. Shit, man. Shit, man. Oh. In order to open the door, he must enter a specific number. Each technician has his own personal combination. It means that the station workers cannot enter for safety reasons. It is your responsibility to keep the disc with the code safe. It cannot fall into the hands of unqualified personnel. Okay. What a mess. What a mess, guys, this is. Okay. Do we have, like... Oh. I was already on. Why does everything has to be so... Uh... Oh, shit, a key. That's beautiful. So I don't need some freak to be running together with me in this place. Because if there is, I'm actually gonna cry just a little bit. Let me save. Alright, saving. There we go. And opening the store. Oh shit. Oh no 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 no. Ouch. I'm out. Run 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 run. Woo! My stomach, my ears are lifting. <laughs> Is he coming up here? All right.
please for the love of God don't make all these noises he's down there hey what okay It's right there. Can hurry. I can hurry. My ears. Oh no. He's coming. Woo! Ow, ow. Ow. Pick it up. You stupid. Ow. Shit. Run, 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 run. Come on. Faster. Ooh. Stop moving! Woo! Alright, I'm good. I'm good. Alright, so I need... What the hell am I using the screwdriver for? Oh. It's jammed. Why is everything jammed? That's not right. Alright, excuse me, what is a screwdriver being used for? Alright. We're gonna do one thing here. Hurry. Run! Thank you. Woo! Oh my god, man, I can't do this. My heart stops beating very soon. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I've been playing too many games of these to know these things. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see part 3, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, rate, and comment, and do all that good shit. See you later.